for Kakos Reaper how to remove or at least hide plugins that you do not want to see in your plugin folder. So first of all, let's go find a plugin that we really don't want to see. And the first thing that I can think of is all the different t rex plugins. Okay, so you see a brick wall limiter right here. Let's just start with the top because Black76, I actually do use that plugin on occasion. So I'm going to right click this, choose Rename FX, and then I'm going to go to the very beginning of this and put the pound sign. So Shift 3 or hashtag sign, but I'm, I'm old school, it's, a, it's the pound sign. Hit OK. Now you see this? It should be gone. <gasps> it's gone. Hold on, let's get rid of the classic clipper. Pound sign. Boom! Punch signs more like it. Pounded it out of my plug-in folder. One more, one more. Classic comp. Uh, man, I probably haven't ever used that. Maybe I use it on one mix. Like back in 2008. All right, now you're gonna ask me, how do you, how does this work? Because you're gonna try this, because I told you to wait and you probably didn't. You're gonna say, Adam, how do I get this to work? You go to options, and you go down to show in FX list, and then this option right here, plugins that begin with pound sign, by default, is checked. You gotta click that, and see now all my plugins that I had the pound sign next to are going to be back. Or at least they, oh, wait, wait, actually they put them right here. See? And then when I go back to that option, now they're gone. Just like that. Presto, you got rid of your, well, you, you hid your plugins. They're still technically on your hard drive. Anyway, if you like this tip, please hit the thumbs up button. And if you have never subscribed to Real Home Recording, subscribe now. If you've already subscribed, I would consider unsubscribing and then resubscribing because of the way this video platform works. Anyway, thank you all for watching. This has been Adam, AKA DJ RHR for Real Home Recording.